Yo, this is Red One representing Bulgaria in the city of Berlin, and you're watching Beatbox Battle TV. First of all, it was like uh, the year 2000. Uh, I was living still in my small hometown in Bulgaria. We didn't have internet or something. So uh, I saw some Razel movies on the on MTV, on TV. So I got really influenced. I was really amazed of what he's doing and what he's not. Then I moved to Sofia when I finished high school. So I met some people. They gave me a chance to, to, to perform. And I started you know, getting better and better, learning new techniques and all that. And at some point, Bilo contacted me through through internet and invited me to the first uh, beatbox world championship and yeah I, I was there like performed for the first time outside Bulgaria and it was really exciting experience at first I didn't know how to do this sound or that sound so at some point I started all my kick bass like <coughs> after that I started you know with the basic kick and the basic uh, snare drum like <coughs> and it was really awful you know when I look at now and uh, at some point I started you know, learning electronic sounds like you no know, case snares and all that and started developing my own style which is influenced from drum and bass, you no know, uh, hip hop, jazz and everything. Basically I'm working on maybe three or four projects uh, you know in the on the same time. One of them is uh, is uh, live uh, beatbox dubstep performance. It's beatbox uh, looped by a, a loop machine. And I have uh, loops made on my computer, like really bass loops, which I play over my beats. So I perform dubstep live with uh, beats that happen in front of your face. And it goes like... And I also have this other project is... Uh, Ethno jazz, we're like band of five or six or seven people. We don't know yet, actually. It's drums. I do beatbox. We have uh, this. Uh, I don't know how it's called in English. This traditional Bulgarian tube flute, which like sounds like stuff like that. We also have uh, maybe two gypsies with trumpets and trombones. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a project from uh, for outside Bulgaria performances, like you know Austria, France, Germany, everywhere they bring us. Well, uh, when I started beatboxing in Bulgaria, there was uh, nothing, uh, nobody else over there. So I was the first one. After that, new names popped up, you know, a few, uh, few years after me, like Skiller, Ramon, Samuel, uh, other guys, you know, pop from here and from there in different cities across Bulgaria. Uh, two years back, we organized the first uh, Bulgarian beatbox battle. Every, every, every city now has its own beatboxers, maybe one, maybe more. It's starting, you know, maybe slowly, but it's developing a little bit, and I'm trying to help, you know, with uh, whatever I can. So I would say that every music, every music in the world counts, but uh, when you're doing music, no matter beatbox or jazz or drum and bass, something, you have to be really dedicated to it and really give all your heart uh, for what you do. <laughs> Beatbox battle, 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 battle